welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley for those of you who are new here. So today's video is going to be a grocery haul. Um, however, this one is part of a collab. This is a monthly collab that my friends Tiffany and Jessica put together. Tiffany from Small Town 6 and Jessica Myrose. Um, their channels will be linked in the description box below. So they have an open collab going for a grocery haul and it's pretty much every month for the rest of the year so far. So make sure that you check out my description box for their channels as well as the link for the playlist for everybody's grocery haul. Um, especially if you love grocery hauls, this is like a great collab for you to watch the playlist. Um, there should be plenty, plenty of amazing grocery hauls in this playlist. So getting into my grocery haul this week, I did a Aldi order. I have to like really work on that. I'm so ghetto y'all. I be saying Aldi's. It's not Aldi's. Come on, Ashley. I really fight to be like Aldi. <laughs> I have to stop. But I did an Aldi order as well as I veered off into Dollar Tree. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> um, I really went in there for like one or two things and ended up like finding so much stuff that they don't normally have in there especially like organic stuff. I found so much organic stuff at Dollar Tree this time. It was amazing. So that is what we kind of like did with that. It was so much stuff that I may as well have just filmed a grocery haul for it. So that's why we filmed. Um, and also we are... Do you want to be part of this intro? <laughs> um, so yeah, we're also stocking up doesn't like me today we're also stocking up on things I just want to have like a bunch of stuff in the house you know because um as you guys see the prices of things are like skyrocketing so I want to make sure to get the best price right now while I can on things when I see it and as we know the stores are not like restocking and there's a lot of things missing and all sorts of stuff so I just kind of want to avoid that hassle when I see it and I see it for a good price I'm just going to start picking it up um in bulk so that I have it in my pantry so that when we need it it'll be here if you know in three months things change then great awesome cool but we'll at least be stocked up just in case things like really take a turn for the worse so we're heavily stocking up right now so that's why both of these are a little bit large <laughs> But that's okay because you guys love really big grocery hauls anyways. Um, also, let me get into details. I did announce that I'm going to be doing a giveaway, so I may as well talk about that here. So I am going to be doing a giveaway as soon as I hit 500 subscribers. I'm right there on the cusp of it. So as soon as I hit 500, I'm going to be doing a gift card giveaway. Um, so the details for that will follow as soon as I hit that milestone and I will basically give you guys the rules on how to enter, but just keep watching, um, make sure you share and everything for everybody who has friends who like grocery hauls and what's for dinners, make sure that you let them know about my channel and get us to that 500. And as soon as we get there, we will do a huge, huge giveaway. I guarantee you guys are not going to want to miss it. So that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get into this grocery haul. Okay, everybody, so this is everything that I got from Dollar Tree today. So I will start over here with the non-food products. So I got a bunch of arts and crafts stuff um, because you guys are seeing this later, but this is Dr. Seuss week. So we're doing a bunch of arts and crafts this week. So I got some paint brushes. I got some of these mini pom-poms. I got eye drops because we're going to make S-L-I-M-E. Now starting with the food products. I really don't know where to start. Um, so I'll start back here. We got two of the cans of Lay Stacks, the original and the sour cream and onion. I got, I found, this was wild, some of these ready-made packs of organic brown rice. And I know that actually in stores, these cost at least $3 for the organic brown rice. So I grabbed four of them. I definitely wanna go back and get more one of these days. They don't expire until July. Um, so that's a good deal. Plus they probably last past July because they're tightly wrapped. So I definitely wanna stock up on those. We love these Mrs. Fields cookies. So I grabbed one chocolate chip and one rainbow chip. 
I've never seen these before, but these are refried beans. It says Mexico's best seller, so I was hoping that they're really, really good. Um, I've been trying to find like a really, really, you know, refried beans that I love because I have not found any. And these don't expire until October 2023. So these are really great. If we like them, I want to try them this week, but if we like them, I definitely want to go back and stock up on more because, again, these are very tightly wrapped and these will last. Um, Back here, we have never tried the Cheetos Mac and Cheese, and they had them, so I grabbed two boxes for us to try. They had the family size Rice and Roni. They only had the beef flavor, though, but I grabbed two of them. We love these Hungry Jack potatoes, so I grabbed two. They're the cheddar bacon flavor. Um, we usually do the regular scallop potatoes. I think we've done the cheddar bacon before. I'm not too sure. But I didn't see the regular ones, so I just grabbed two of those. They had some Bisquick mix. Um, so I grabbed one of the, well, two of the buttermilk and then two of the cheese garlic. Um, so I guess these are kind of like Cheddar Bay Biscuits. So I have not been finding the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit mix anywhere. So I definitely wanted to grab these and use those. Um, I found this Dove pudding. I've never seen this at Dollar Tree before and I've never had Dove pudding, but I'm wanting to try it. Um, they had literally two packs of pepperoni left. We love pepperoni. We make pizza pretty often and pepperoni can get pretty expensive. So I just went ahead and grabbed two of these. Uh, moving up here, they had these Jimmy Dean stuffed hash browns, sausage and gravy. So it's just a hash brown that's stuffed with sausage, gravy, and cheese. I never had these, but I thought we would try them. That would probably be good. Um, they had these frozen omelets. I know Gio sometimes likes to have an omelet in the morning, and I don't always have the time to make him one. So I just grabbed him two of those. I found these Ghirardelli Salted County in a cup things. The other day I did an Amazon grocery haul, and I got... I think it was just like a Duncan Hines or maybe Betty Crocker version of this, and I think I paid like three fifty for the box. So to find four pouches for a dollar twenty-five and it's Ghirardelli brand, I was like super excited. So I got that. Um, they had these organic diced tomatoes. They had a bunch of these cans, but I only grabbed three because they're such big cans. Um, but I just wanted to go ahead and grab them anyways because that's a good deal for the organic. I've never seen organic anything at Dollar Tree. Um, they had some Rotel, so I grabbed two cans of that. Seasonings, they finally had some seasonings. I got the Memphis-style barbecue, some cumin because I've been needing cumin, some steakhouse seasoning. This is thyme leaves because some of my recipes I just need thyme. Um, some oregano leaves, also some of my recipes I just need oregano, some paprika, and some chili powder. Up here I got these teddy bear cookies, the birthday cake flavor. Um, the kids will probably like these as like a really quick snack. They're supposed to be a six pack, but they came in an eight pack, so that was a great deal for $1.25. Um, I got two boxes of these mini fruit roll-ups just to have in case we need like a quick something to grab. Um, Paw Patrol graham crackers, you know, if you have a four-year-old, you know. <laughs> I got some Lunchables. This is two packs of the pepperoni pizza and two packs of the ham crackers. And we got some of these cheese curls. This is like my favorite brand of the cheese curls. And then I got these Harvest Snaps to taste. I've never tasted them and I have seen them everywhere and always wanted to and never really got around to doing it but I was glad that they had this little individual pack for me to try just in case I don't like it then I didn't have to waste like an entire bag and find something else to do with it so yeah this is everything that I got from Dollar Tree okay everybody so this is everything that I got from Aldi's today um again this is just to stock up on everything so i'll start over here we got some burger buns because we need this for burgers this week um i found this fancy looking fettuccine i know that they don't have like when they have it in a package like this they don't have it for very long so i decided to grab two we don't really eat fettuccine that often so we'll probably not need fettuccine for the rest of this year um i got two things of mexican style cheese for enchiladas this week 
got some Colby Jack shredded cheese for a breakfast recipe that I'm doing. I got some sausage also for the breakfast recipe that I'm doing. Cream cheese, I need this for a dessert recipe this week. Um, I stocked up on ham slices, just the regular breakfast ham and the biscuit ham. These are gonna go in the freezer. We're not gonna need them this week. We're not gonna need them probably not even next week. We'll just have them in here just in case these run out in the stores, we have them. Um, got a gallon of milk because we were out. I found this uh, London Fog Tea Latte. It sounded good, I wanna try it. I love London Fog Tea and I love putting milk in it. So I definitely wanna try that. If it's good, I hope I get to order more before it goes out because I know that that's a special find. Um, I grabbed two of these big things of apple juice and over here, these are called Irish style bangers. They're just sausages. Um, so these are going to be for our dinner this Thursday for St. Patrick's Day. I got two of them, the ale and onion and this regular just for us to try. Hopefully we like them, it's just sausage. I mean, it, we really should like them. <laughs> um, moving up here, we have bacon and cheddar cheese burgers. That's gonna be for the burgers this week. Some brown basmati rice. I need this for a recipe coming up, I believe I'm going to do in a couple of weeks. I have everything pre-planned out, but I need this for a recipe in a couple of weeks, and it's also good to have on hand. Um, it's a reusable zipper bag, so I'm not gonna waste that. That's amazing. Um, I found this chamomile tea. I need this some nights because the kids do not want to sleep, so I definitely need that for them. I got some more granola bars. If you saw my last grocery haul, we got some from Amazon. So we didn't really need it, but it's just here in case we run out. Um, these Lucky Charms sugar cookies. These are gonna be for dessert for St. Patrick's Day. I found these unicorn cookies. Um, I saw these in Tiffany's grocery haul last week and I was really, really hoping my Aldi had them and I'm so glad that they did because these are so cute and I know Zuri will absolutely love these. Um, I found these, these are amazing. I cannot wait to try them. There's maple glaze butternut squash blend. I love butternut squash. And then an autumn carrot blend. I know I'm gonna do this on St. Patrick's Day with this. So I don't know when I'm gonna be using the butternut squash, but I know this one I'm using this week. Um, got some cheese dip just to have because we use that in a lot of different things and I just wanna have it in the house. I got two things of the roasted verde salsa. I have been dying to try that verde salsa chicken soup that Taylor Elmore makes on her channel. And I never find the salsa, so I've never made it. Now I found it, so I grabbed two. So hopefully we love it and I'll have one to use for that time that we try it. And then I'll have another one on hand whenever we decide to make it again. Um, Got some cooking spray because I am all the way out of cooking spray. We are stocking up on Parmesan, so I do not need to buy Parmesan for a while. And then our favorite chicken sauces, the tikka masala. Don't know if y'all can see that. The tikka masala and the butter chicken. We love these sauces. So this will be four different times that we can eat that. So if the store runs out, we have it in the house. Um, grab some more baking soda because we were running low. I got these corned beef Reuben bites. I have been dying to try these. Every year that they have them, I never get them because by the time I make it to the store, they are all the way out. So I got these to try and these will probably be our lunch on Thursday. Got some tortillas for enchiladas, got some broccoli. Um, there was a reason I grabbed this. I don't remember the reason, but I needed this this week for a recipe. We are stocking up on our hot chocolate. Being as though it is getting warm out, we're probably not gonna go through this as quickly as we have been this winter. But we have it, if the kids want it, and we have it just saved up. So by fall time, we should still have some unopened hot chocolate. Um, I found these pretzel bites. I'm so excited to try these. I got the savory one. This comes with mustard and a cheese sauce. And then I also got the sweet, oops, we're upside down. Okay. I got the sweet one. This comes with a dolce de leche and a cinnamon sauce. So we're gonna definitely be eating these for movie night, just because we love pretzels and I love pretzels when I'm watching a movie. So we're gonna try both of those um, when we have movie night this week. 
I got two things of vegetable oil to stock up because we are low on vegetable oil and we always run out pretty quick. So hopefully by just buying a couple of them at a time, I can just keep them in the house for when I need them. Moving up here, I got some more brown sugar. We're nowhere near out, but I'm just gonna put this up so that when we do run out, we have it. White sugar, same story. We're nowhere near out. I'm gonna put it up. I got some of this ginger paste. I actually need this because this week I'm going to be making some beef and broccoli and I never, ever, ever have ginger. So I hope that by buying it like this, that this will last a little bit longer. I don't really use ginger all that often, but hopefully it'll just last so that whenever I do need ginger, I have it. Um, got four things of taco seasoning. We go through taco seasoning pretty quickly. Chicken cubes and beef cubes, we go through those not very quickly. So these will be for stock up because we still have a lot of the beef one in the cabinet and pretty much like half of the chicken. So we're good on that. Minced garlic I've been needing. Uh, looking back, I probably should have grabbed two. Yeah, bad judgment on my part. Stocking up on the kids' juices. Um, I got two of these packs of the fruit punch and two of these packs of the apple juice. Even though it's stock up, it's not gonna last that long. These kids go through juice like crazy. Got some cherry pie filling for a dessert recipe I'm trying this week. We're stocking up on Sloppy Joe sauce. We do not eat Sloppy Joes that often. We will probably not need sauce again in 2022. Um, soups, I got two cans of cream of mushroom and two cans of tomato soup. This will probably be gone by next month. Just being honest, I go through cream of mushroom and recipes pretty fast. And the kids love tomato soup with grilled cheese, so do I, so we kind of go through that. Corned beef hash, we go through this pretty quickly, so this will not last us the rest of the year, um, unless I really like space it out and don't make it that often. But we love corned beef hash, and so we eat it pretty often. When we do find it in the stores for a decent price. So these will probably be gone at least halfway through summer. And this is everything that I got today from Aldi's. Okay, everybody. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul. And also don't forget that this was a collab with Tiffany from Small Town 6 and Jessica Myros. Their channels and the collab playlist will definitely be linked in the description box below. And make sure if you are new here, you give me a thumbs up and press the subscribe button. I would love it if you would stick around and join the family. Make sure you check out all my other videos. If you love grocery hauls, also I have what's for dinners. Um, this week's what's for dinner is going to be the same as the, my last one. I'm doing like a double week because I don't know, for whatever reason, I just don't get around to editing anymore. So I film, but I just don't get around to editing it by the time it needs to come out. So I'm just gonna double up again and hopefully after that, I'll get back on track to the weekly what's for dinners. <laughs> But I still put it out, <laughs> so you guys still get weeks of what's for dinner, just combined in one video. Longer video, I don't know. <laughs> so that being said, guys, thank you so much for being here, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.